Okay, let's introduce two reactions and use these reactions to talk about some of the principles of these acid catalyzed reactions. We're going to talk about the ester hydrolysis and the Fischer esterification. So you know what the Fischer esterification is going to do. We're going to ester I something. We're going to make an ester. So let's look at the reaction. Ester hydrolysis moving forward. Let's draw an ester. And we're going to hydrolyze it. So we'll treat it with acid and water. And I always go with sulfuric acid. HCl is just fine. Other acids work just as well. And anytime we hydrolyze an acid derivative like an ester, we will always get a carboxylic acid and we'll break off whatever was on the carbonyl so we get that protonated so we form an alcohol. So this is an acid catalyzed hydrolysis. Let, let's look at this, what we're really saying. Take away some of the pictures and say, okay, we're taking an ester and we're reacting it with water. And over here, we're forming an acid plus an alcohol. Now, this is a reversible reaction, so let's show it as reversible. And let's describe the equilibrium constant for this. The equilibrium constant is simply the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the starter materials. This goes way back to general chemistry. But the cool thing is, those ideas of general chemistry, they still apply now completely. So, okay, great, that's our equilibrium constant. Well, if we want to run this reaction, so going back to the top of the slide, as a hydrolysis, how do we drive this reaction to the right? Well, what we can do is, as we look at this equilibrium equation, we can just increase the amount of water. So we'll use a big excess of water. And of course, water is pretty cheap, and that's very easy to do. What if we want to run this reaction backwards? What if we want to take the acid and the alcohol and form the ester instead? Well, we want to make sure if we do that, that we try to exclude the water as much as possible. So if we want to do the esterification, we um, maybe remove water as it forms. And there are a lot of experimental tricks that you can use to do this. So the, we haven't shown the mechanism of the Fischer esterification or ester hydrolysis, but we just sort of talked about how, how can you have two reactions going on at once in an equilibrium, how to control which one you get. Well, in these hydro hydrolytic reactions, we tend to control the amount of water that's present in the reaction. And therefore, we can control whether the reaction goes forward or backwards simply by adjusting the amount of water that's present.